Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in this video, I am going to discuss previous year's board papers, questions from the chapter Wave Optics. I will be discussing the numerical problems. Now the first question is from 2018. Uh, the question reads that if one of the two identical slits producing interference in Young's experiment is covered with glass so that light intensity passing through it is reduced to 50%, find the ratio of maximum to minimum intensity of the fringe. Okay. Now we know that the resultant intensity uh, for two intensities I1 and I2 is given by the expression I is equal to I1 plus I2 plus 2 root I1 I2 cos phi. Okay, where phi is the phase difference. Okay, now this is for intensities I1 and I2. Okay, now the maximum intensity it is given by the expression root I1 plus root i2 the whole square and the minimum intensity it is given by the expression root i1 minus root i2 the whole square okay now in this question they have asked to find the ratio of maximum to minimum intensity that is ratio of this and this so i max by i minimum it will be this root i1 plus root i2 square divided by root i1 minus root i2 square okay now here it is given that initially the two slits were identical so they have said same intensity i and i okay and then one of the slit is covered with glass so that the intensity is reduced to reduced by 50 percent so this becomes one is i the other one becomes i by 2 okay so suppose this is i1 and this is i2 Okay, so if I substitute these values over here, so on substituting the value of i1 and i2, in this we get i plus i by 2, so this i2 is i by 2, i1 is again i minus i by 2. So this i gets, gets cancelled and this 2 go, goes here, so this is root 2 plus 1 square divided by root 2 minus 1 square. So this is the required answer. So in uh, 2017, there were no numericals from wave optics. Uh, now this is question from 2016. Now here we have three polaroids, P1, P2 and P3. Okay. So that the pass axis of P2 and P3 are inclined at angles of 60 degree and 30 de 90 degree respectively with pass axis of P1. So pass axis of P2 with respect to P1 is 60 degree, pass axis of P3 with respect to P1 is 90 degree. Okay. A monochromatic source of S of unpolarized light of intensity I0 is kept in front of polaroid P1. Okay. This is the source. This is unpolarized light. Determine the intensities of light as observed by observer at O. This is the observer. When polaroid P3 is rotated with respect to P2 at angles 30 degree and 60 degree. Now to solve this question, we need to use law of malice. Okay. Now the malice law, it says that the intensity that is observed through a polaroid it is equal to the in, in incident intensity i naught multiplied by cos square theta where theta is the angle between the pass axis of the two polaroids okay so now it also says that when unpolarized light is passed through a polaroid the intensity is halved okay so this is unpolarized light when this unpolarized light crosses this first polaroid so here the intensity will be so if here the intensity is i naught here the intensity will be i naught by 2 okay so this intensity is i naught by 2 so now light of intensity i naught by 2 is incident on p2 okay now angle between p1 and p2 is 60 degree so the light which is emerging out of p2 if it is having intensity i so this i will be equal to now in incident intensity on p2 is i naught by 2 so this is i naught by 2 cos square angle between these two is 60 degree so cos square 60 degree now cos square 60 cos 60 is half so square is 1 by 4 so this is i naught by 8 okay so that means the intensity of light which emerges from p2 is i naught by 8 okay now this is not the question question is Determine the intensity of light as observed by observer at O when polaroid P3 is rotated with respect to P2 at angles 30 degree and 60 degree. Okay. So now see this 
P1 and P2 and P3 they are making angle 60 degree and 90 degree with respect to P1 okay so that means angle between P3 and P2 is 30 degree because the difference is 30 degree okay this is making an angle 60 degree with this one this is making an angle 90 degree with this one that means the angle between these two is 30 degree okay so if the angle is 30 degree and uh, this P3 is rotated through angle 30 degree okay now there are two possibilities okay now you can rotate in the direction so that this angle the total angle between them increases the separation between the angle increases and you can rotate this P3 in such a way that the angle between them decreases but that is if you rotate this towards the pass axis of P2 or you can rotate this P3 away from the pass axis of P2 okay now in case P3 is rotated towards P3 suppose it is rotated towards the pass, pass axis of P2 through angle 30 degree okay now that means see the angle between these two was 30 degree now if P3 is rotated towards P2 so by rotating it to 30 degree the two will become parallel so if the two becomes parallel so in that case the light which emerges from this uh, from P3 it will be again I so that is I0 by 8 so we will get the answer I0 by 8 this is when P3 is moved towards P2 now in case P3 P3 is moved away from P2 okay P3 is moved away from P2 and see the initial separation was angle between them was 30 degree now if it is again in additionally rotated through angle 30 degree so now the separation will become 60 degree okay so for theta equal to 30 degree rotation away now the separation between them the angle between them it will become 60 degree so now the intensity that emerges from P3 it will be I is equal to the inter incident intensity is this this I the in incident intensity so suppose I write this as I3 uh, is equal to I what is I I is I0 by 8 so I0 by 8 cos square 60 degree now cos square 60 degree is uh, 1 by 4 so this is I0 by 8 so this is I0 by 32 so this is the answer now when P3 is rotated through angle 60 degree now see angle between P2 and P3 initial angle okay initial angle between uh, P2 and P3 initial angle is 30 degree okay now suppose P3 is rotated through angle theta equal to 60 degree towards the towards P2 so now when it is rotated through angle 60 degree towards P2 it will cross P2 and now the separation between them will become 30 degree okay so the intensity that emerges out from P3 that is I3 is equal to I0 by 8 cos square 30 degree okay now cos square 30 degree means uh, 3 by 4 so this is 3 I0 by 32 so this is P2 and this is P3 uh, initial separation is 30 degree okay and now P3 is rotated in away through angle 60 degree this was towards now if it is rotated away now the angle between these two will become 90 degree so in this case the in i3 will become 0 because this theta is 90 degree cos square 90 will be 0 so the intensity of light emerging from p3 will be 0 so this is the way you have to proceed for this question there is another question from the same paper uh, the intensity at the central maxima in young's double slit experiment is i0 find out the intensity at a point where path difference is lambda by 6 lambda by 4 and lambda by 3 okay this was a 5 mark question now for uh, path difference uh, this is suppose delta x is the symbol for path difference so delta x is equal to lambda by 6 okay now path difference is related to phase difference by the relation suppose delta phi if delta x is the uh, path difference then de phase difference delta phi it is given by twice pi by lambda into delta x okay why this is so suppose uh, if i draw this wave so this is in terms of wavelength this is 0 this is lambda 
in terms of phase this is 0 this is twice pi so that means a phase difference of uh, twice pi is equivalent to a path difference of lambda so a phase difference delta phi will be for part difference delta x will be twice pi by lambda into delta x okay so uh, from this we can calculate the phase difference delta phi as twice pi by lambda into lambda by 6 so this lambda lambda cancels out so this is equal to pi by 3 so for corresponding to so corresponding to a part difference of lambda by 6 the phase difference is pi by 3 okay now the intensity resultant intensity it is given by the expression i is equal to i naught cos square delta phi by 2 this is the expression for resultant intensity okay where delta phi is the phase difference so here delta phi is pi by 3 so this i will be equal to i naught cos square delta phi is pi by 3 so this is pi by 3 divided by 2 so this is pi by 6 this is i naught cos square pi by 6 so that is i naught root 3 by 2 square so this is 3 i naught by 4 so the final answer is 3 i naught by 4 similarly you have to proceed for lambda by 4 and lambda by 3 now this question is from uh, 2015 paper in Young's double slit experiment the two slits are separated by distance of 1.5 millimeter and the screen is placed one meter away from the plane of the slits a beam of light consisting of two wavelengths 650 nanometer and 520 nanometer is used to obtain interference fringes find the distance of third fringe for lambda is equal to 520 nanometer uh, on the screen from the central maximum and the least distance from central maximum where the bright fringes due to both the wavelength coincides now distance of a fringe from the central maxima for a part it is given by the formula x is equal to n lambda d by d okay so distance of third bright, bright fringe means 3 lambda d by d where lambda is the wavelength d is the screen distance and small d is the uh, slit separation okay the distance between the two slits now all the quantities are given so if you substitute this is 3 lambda is uh, 520 nanometer so that is 520 into 10 power minus 9 capital D is the screen distance screen is placed 1 meter away so this is 1 divided by uh, the two slits are separated by 1.5 millimeter so 1.5 into 10 power minus 3 okay so now this if you solve this simplify this you will get it the well, now on solving this we get 1.04 into 10 power minus 3 meter okay so this is part a for part b the least distance from the central maxima where bright fringes due to both the wavelengths coincides both wavelengths means there are two wavelengths 650 nanometer and 520 nanometer okay now suppose n nth fringe of one wavelength coincides with mth fringe of suppose for lambda 1 it coincides with mth fringe of the other wavelength lambda 2 okay now if both are at the same position then x will be same for both these values so if i substitute this over here it is n uh, lambda 1 one wavelength is 650 650 into 10 power minus 9 lambda d by d is equal to m 520 520 into 10 power minus 9 d by d okay so now uh, this all thing cancels out so we have n by m is equal to 52 by 65 so this reduces to 4 by 5 okay so that is fourth fringe corresponding to wavelength 650 nanometer uh, or the fifth fringe corresponding to wavelength 510 to nanometer 520 nanometer is coinciding so that distance can be uh, obtained by substituting that in this relation x is equal to uh, n lambda d by d for n equal to 4 lambda is uh, 650 nanometer and d and d you substitute from here so you'll get the answer uh, of the distance 
from the central maximum so this is how you have to proceed now this question is from 2014 the ratio of intensities at minima to maxima in the young's double slit experiment is 9 is to 25 find the ratio of width of the two slits now for coherent sources the ratio of intensities it is equal to the width of the two slits in this question they have asked width of the two slits so if we get the value of i1 by i2 the ratio of the intensities that will be equal to the ratio of the width of the two slits now in this case maximum intensities and minimum intensities the ratio is given this is minimum intensity this is maximum so i minimum by i maximum it is 9 by 25 now we already know that i minimum it is root i1 minus root i2 the whole square by root i1 plus root i2 the whole square this we have seen just few minutes back so on simplifying this you get the value of i1 by i2 you will get the value of as i1 by i2 is equal to 16 by uh, 1 okay 16 is to 1 this is the required ratio now, now the next problem from 2014 was two wavelengths of sodium light this wavelength were given were used to turn the study of diffraction okay at a single slit of aperture so this is the width of the slit okay the distance between the slit and the screen is 1.5 meter calculate the separation between the position of first maxima of, of diffraction pattern obtained in the two cases so we need to find the position of the first maxima for corresponding to these two wavelengths and then the separation between them okay now the position of maxima it is given by the expression y is equal to twice n plus 1 lambda d by twice a okay now here this lambda is the wavelength d is the screen distance and this twice a is the width of the slit or here in this case the aperture with 2 into 10 power minus 6 this quantity okay so now for the two wavelengths uh, you write the value say suppose y1 as twice n plus 1 uh, lambda 1 d by twice a and for the other wavelength y2 is equal to twice n plus 1 lambda 2 d by twice a okay now it is given that it is the first maxima that is n equal to 1 so this becomes y1 is equal to 3 lambda 1 d by twice a and this is y2 is equal to 3 lambda 2 d by twice a okay now the separation between them it is delta y it is equal to uh, say y2 minus y1 so that is equal to 3 d by twice a lambda 2 minus lambda 1 okay lambda 2 is 596 nanometer lambda 1 is 590 nanometer capital D is given twice a is also given so if you substitute the values you will get the final answer and this value it comes to be around 6.75 into 10 power minus 3 meter so this is the final answer okay so these are the solutions